Robbie Solo. And if this is your first time, then get comfortable and stay for a while. I'm Robbie Solo Gamer Friend, and today we're playing Train Heist, designed by Sean McDonald and published by Cryptozoic Entertainment. If you're curious about the game, then check out the short intro I did earlier this week. You can find the link in the notes below. Please don't forget to subscribe and like, and if you want, leave comments to help me improve this section, or you can send an email to the account in the notes below. So without any further delay, let's get started with what's on the board for setup in this gaming solo playthrough. On the left side, we have the wanted cards. We're only allowed to have one wanted card per player, so once you get your wanted card, you're stuck with that the rest of the game, you can't get another one. Right here is the event deck. When you flip the event deck over, those are the actions you take. And those are the bullet tokens right above it. And when each player starts with one bullet token. Each bullet token gives you an additional action. Across the top are the train, is the train, and along with the loot that's in the train, you got the sheriff right below it, who you're trying to avoid throughout the game. Here's the train itself on the board, and the train keeps going in a circle following the switching tokens, and I'll explain that as it happens. And right here in the middle, you have the bandits turn Robin Hood, who are going to try to rob the train, take the loot, and turn it into the towns where the train hits the town. And right here on the right side, you have your deck of cards. Each player will be dealt five cards. And based on the cards you have, that's the cards you play in order to collect loot from the car. And of course, we have our loot bag to refill the cars once the train does pick up. At the bottom is our goal meter for heisting. Um, you get to set your goal between 10 and 20. I set it at 15, so my goal is to get 15 points worth of loot to the, the towns. And each loot is worth 1.8, so that's a lot of loot you got to collect. And here's the train speed. The train speed is actually set at 2 for a solo play. And that means the train will move 2 spots every time um, the end of each turn, of each player's turn. Not the total round, but each player's turn. And that's set up. So without any further delay, let's get into round 1. All right, let's begin the first round. I'm gonna deal out the cards. The left side will be blue, right side will be red. So I'll deal five cards each. Both of my characters, blue and red, will start in Crackpot Canyon. The train, I have approximately, unless, unless these two switches rotate and change direction of the train. I have approximately six turns before it will hit town B. But as it crosses over a star in each of these star locations, every time it crosses a star, I must flip over the event card. And the event deck will let me know what actions have to happen. And there are um, events that causes those switches to change. So hopefully none of the switches change at this time because I need all those rounds to be able to get some loot and get to the town B before um, it reaches there we lose a slot on the hangman's noose. So the cards that were dealt to blue, blue has an ace uh, with keyholes, has a wild, it was dealt a seven and nine pistols and a three keyholes. So outside of the wild, the best it has is a pair. It won't have three of a kind, won't have a four, uh, four of a kind, I'm sorry, So or a four straight. So the best I can get is a, is a pair out of this, so I'm just going to hold on to them. And I'm going to move blue, is going to move four actions. First action is going to move out of Crackpot Canyon into this space there, that's one. Action number two, we're going to mount the train. We mount it's on train car number four, so we would actually mount in between right here, number four, between four and five. And the numeric the numeric value on each of these interest markers say where to enter at. So blue is going to enter here. That's action number two. Let me look at what I have to get the. Uh, I should look at the loot cards and see what cards I have to get the loot. I have. Let's see. I have two keys, two pistols, and I need a 368. I do not have a 368. So I cannot go to car A. I can't go to car A, but I don't have any loot bags. I don't have any pistols. It's not going to help me. Um, odd numbers. I have three odd numbers for car C, and I also need a key and a bag. I don't have the bag. 
Probably should have looked at Red's cards. Could have done a trade before I moved. Red has a Wild, a 6 and 2 of Key, a 3 Pistol, and a 9 Loot Bag or Money Bag. Probably could have used that, traded that Money Bag, but we'll see. So, I've done two actions. I'm going to move into this train car here for my third movement. And I'm going to go ahead and spend three, seven, and nine. My three odd cards. I'm going to go ahead and play those and discard them into the discard deck for reshuffling. And I want to grab this loot right here out of this car. I'll just set it right here for now. And that was action number four. I'm two spaces away from the sheriff, so. I'm good there. Sheriff, we didn't do anything to attract the sheriff's attention. So I'm going to hold blue into in car number four and hold on to this um, bullet that gives me one additional action for when I need it. And now that blue has loot, blue cannot get any more loot. Blue has to um, drop it off at one of the towns. And right now the town we're working towards is B because that's the direction of the train. As long as, the, as, long as this doesn't. If this changes, it'll still go to B. But if this changes, I'll head to C. So that's the end of Blue's turn. Now we take the uh, the train moves for two spaces because that's what the train meter is on. So it's one, two. Um, don't need to discard any of my cards yet, and I draw back up to five from the deck. And I drew. I have. Let's see, For I have an 8 with the keyholes, an ace with keyholes, an ace with pistols, and two wild cards. So they're going to help get me a, uh, uh, get some stuff for me when I need to in the future. I might be able, to have to be able to move that sheriff. So that's the end of Blue's turn. And we draw back 5, so we go back to uh, the top of the turn order for Red. And like I said, Red has, like I said, they have two keyholes a money bag, a pistol, and a wild card, and the numeric values is 2, 3, 6, and 9. I think, let's see, one money bag and a keyhole. He can also get in car C. Hmm. If I enter from the front, I have a 3, 6, and a wild for 8. It would pull the sheriff one, one space closer to me though. And I have only one money bag. I would need two. I, th I think I'm going to see. Do I have two pair? I have a wild, which is a would give me one pair. And I have a money bag and a keyhole. I can't enter from behind. I have to enter from side. So I'll be one, two, three, four just to get there. Or I can do one, two, enter on three, then get on the roof on uh, four. I think I'll do that. I'm going to work my way to car C also to get those other two loots. So I'm going to move red four spaces for their um, event actions. One, two. He's going to enter on train one, which is right here in between the coal car and the engine. That's three. And he's going to the top of the roof for four. And that ends Red's turn. So now we're going to move the train again. One, two. We haven't crossed any stars yet, but next turn we'll cross stars. And then we bring Red back up to five. But Red already has five cards, so we don't need to bring him up any further. And that ends one complete round of two turns. Okay, we're back to blue. Blue has two keyholes in their hand, two pist one pistol and two wild cards. There are two aces and eight with the two wild cards. Uh, Blue's going to hold on to the cards right now because Blue needs to get off the train and f make it to B before um, the train gets there. And right now, if blue dismounts in between four and five, it'll dismount here. 
and I take them, see, one, two, can't cross the train, so you have to backtrack. So it would be best to dismount on five. So take dismount one, two, three, four, then that's turn one, one, two, three, four, two turns. It'll take them three turns to get to B if I don't t do any um, call the horse or if I don't trade any cards in for extra actions, heist actions, or spend my bullet. The train will move. Turn one, next turn will be there. That's two turns. That's three turns. Blue won't make it because, like I said, the train moves after each of the um, cowboys move. So I might have to call the horse or get on the horse. If I call the horse, I have to spend eight. That's the biggest number I have. Horse will move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be one action. Then if I spend another card, I don't have any the aces. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna dismount. I'm gonna dismount here at five. So that's one, two, three, four. I'm going to spend the bullet and move another space five. I'm on the train tracks now. Uh, that's all my actions. Did not trade any cards. I'm going to hang on to my cards, I think. I, well, I got two aces. Two pair give me one extra action. But I can use the horse. If I hold on to my eight, I can use the horse. Call the horse. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, and trade. I think that's what I'll do next round because the horse movements count as just calling the horse and moving. It's all one action. Got to mount the horse. That's two actions. Dismount the horse. Three actions and trade the loot industry. Four actions. I think I can get there. So that's it for red. So we move the train two spaces. It crosses over a star. One, two. Now it's on the switching track. It can't change directions. Even the track switches, it still can't change because it's already committed to that direction. And now we flip over the event deck card. And it is moved the sheriff two spaces to the right. I got out of there just in time because it puts the sheriff in car C, which is which it's lucky for the blue guy out of there, but bad luck because now red can't get into car C at this moment without um, spending cards to get the sheriff out of car C. So red's kind of stuck right there. Red can become wanted on this turn if it wants to. Um, it is red's turn now. I don't need to draw back up to five cards. So I think red's going to go ahead and t take a wanted action and move across four cars in one move. One, two, three. I take the wanted card. And the wanted card for red is Tombstone. And we insert a name. Once per game, you may discard your entire hand during any player's turn to move the hangman token back one knot. So that's good. I can discard my entire hand so red can discard a hand. Red still has one more action left. And uh, I think red's going to take another bullet and give him an extra action. That will end red's turn. The train's going to move two again. One, two, hits another star, flip over another event deck. And we move the sheriff two spaces back, back to here. So that's good for Red next turn because Red get in, get the loot, and get out before the sheriff moves. And then Red can start working towards town A unless the tracks switch. Or town C, uh, maybe A, depends on the tracks. We'll see. And that is the end of, that is the end of the round. Okay, I believe we're starting in round three. So, Blue's actions. Let's see if Blue goes to the horse and costs him two movements instead of bringing the horse to him. Blue is going to spend, play his eight card with the keyhole to call the horse to him. Horse is going to move one, two spaces. Blue will mount. Then move back three, four, five, six, seven. 
dismount. Mount and dismount are free actions. So I still have three actions left. Going to um, turn the loot into the town. So you discard the loot into a separate pile. Reach into the loot bag. And for every loot you turn into town, you pull one out and put it into the town square. And that way the train will be able to get its loot and not speed up time or have the hangman's noose lower. And this one is a barrel with three keyholes and a loot bag. So I've taken two actions. I got two actions remaining. I think I'm going to move back to this space here. I'll leave the horse where he is and I'm going to probably wait for the train to come and jump back on and see how that works out for for Blue. And that's the end of Blue's turn. Train moves two spaces. One, two, now the train is all the way on the other side. The next turn will put the train into the town. The town it will collect the town's loot and the hang van's noose will stay right where it is. It is now it did not cross any stars, so red's turn. Red is going to move two spaces. One, two, is two actions, two actions remaining. Third action is going to be to grab the loot. So the keyhole and the loot bag, we have that, and two pair. You know, I don't have two pair, I have one pair. I misread that. So two pair versus one pair. Don't have two pairs, so I guess I'm just going to do, I'm going to have to grab the keyhole and spin the, or grab the, uh, that loot with the keyhole and the loot bag. Then action number, where am I going to dismount at? If I dismount between, if I dismount five, I, I can't dismount there, I have to go back here. Four will put me into it also. I can, you cannot dismount into these mountain sides. You have to dismount to clear space. So red's going to have to dismount into the backside, then have to rush over to A to drop the loot. So red's going to take the final two actions and dismount here. That was two more moving to there. There's one and two total of, oh wait, three actions of that. Four is there. And I'll spin the bullet to get off the train. Yeah, I'll spin the bullet to get off the train just to avoid the sheriff. And that puts me there. And now I have to rush over to A. A is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Either way, it's 10 from there. So. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I forgot to give myself a point for Blues dropping off the loot. And now we go back up to, I forgot to go up to five cards for Blue. Going to move the train two spaces. It crosses another star, so we have to flip over the... Um, event deck, but first we're going to load this loop back into the train and fill up the space that is empty or emptied that has that does not have at least two items in it. And then we flip over the event deck, see what happens. And the sheriff moves two spaces towards the left. So he will sit in train car A, loot car A, train car C. And that ends, I broke the five for red. Red has three, four, and now five cards. And that will end red's turn. And that is the end. Okay, last round when I loaded the loot, I misspoke. You load loot into an empty slot on the train cars. If there are not any empty slots, then you load the loot into the train car that matches the alphabet number of the town it came from. So this loot actually should have gone into B, which is sitting in B at this time. Now let's begin my turns. Blue turn. Blue wants to get back on the train. He can 
he has one money bag, one keyhole, one pistol, and he has two pair if I count the wilds as pair. He can jump on the train right here, be one action, two, three, and four. He will stop there or even here, but I prefer to stop there. It looks like his best bet would be to continue to move to get into this car here. So if he gets on this car now, his next turn he'll be able to get in and grab that loot, jump off and run to C to drop off there. So I think that's what he's going to do. So action one, I mean, he's getting on two, so he enters in between two. That's one, two, three, four, and that will end his action. We move the train car two spaces. We hit another star, we flip the event deck over, and the sheriff moves one space to the right. Now it is Red's turn. Red's cards, they have a two and a four keyhole and a three and a four pistol with a wall card. So they they do have a two of a kind with the fours, or two, yeah, two, yeah, two of a kind with fours. Um, they can even have three of a kind with the wild card, but we'll see about that. I think I'm going to move. I'm, I, I got to move Red. Can't call the horse. The horse is blocked in until the train passes. So Red's going to have to move one, two, three, four. The train is going to go this direction. So if it moves two, it's going to go here. And then blue goes to go here, and there's doing nothing there. So I have I have to spin my cards more than likely. So I'm gonna spin the bullet first. That's an action. If I spin three of a kind, I get three more actions. Or two more actions. I'm still short. Could have used that horse. Probably should have moved the horse back across before the train came. So let's see. If I do my three of a kind, that's two more actions, puts him here. The train moves. Blue goes. The train moves again. There's going to be nothing there. If I moved here. One. Two still don't have an action to flip the switch. Um, I may have to skip A and move back to C. I may have to cancel that movement because there's no way I can flip the switch. Well. I don't have four straight. If I had a four card straight, I could do that also. Okay, I'm just going to hang on to these cards. I'm going to have to sacrifice uh, one of the noose levels, but I do have the tombstone card, which allowed me to trade all five of my playing cards in to move the noose back up one. So I'm going to move to town C. That's one action. Trade the loot in off the train that last time. I don't know why I left on there. Put the loot here. Trade the loot in. Put another loot out. And this one is a chest with three keyholes on it. Go up one point, I'm up to two points now. So that's two actions. I have two more actions. Get back across the tracks, three and four, and try to get back on the train in this area here somewhere. That ends Red's turn. Red did not spend any cards. So the train will move two spaces. One, two. And that's it for um, there. Okay, we're starting round five. Blue goes first. Blue has two aces, two wilds, and a ten. The ten is the money bags. 
the two aces are the keyhole and the pistol and two wilds. If I drop into loot car C, then I would have to either, I would have to spend two wild and my two aces to get the two paired, but that would move the sheriff two spaces near me, one space per wild. And if I did the straight, I still have to spend two wilds to get a straight, which would bring the sheriff two spaces near me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him down. I'm going to move one. That's one action. I'm going to spend a wild using my card abilities to move the sheriff one space this direction. And then I'm going to take the last two action bullets from my last two actions and I will end my turn right there then hopefully draw back up I'll be able to get two pair but if the sheriff's far enough away I can grab them then get off the train so that's the end of Blue's turn we're going to move the train forward two spaces and we cross a star we also do not have loot to load into the train from town A so the hangman's noose drops one level and then I will flip over the event deck and it is railroad track switched so this track will be switched since it's the next one coming up and now the trains instead of cutting through the tunnel will go towards town B after it passes C so now I gotta get loot to town B before we cross over we still have the tombstone ability for red to bring the noose back up one level so we can always use that to kind of delay a possible loss and then I'm going to draw up to five cards it's a third wild so I spent a while to get a wild back but I can still use it and that ends blues turn red will go red has the four actions they drop the loot they need to get back on the train So one, two, three, mount forth. He'll mount between. He'll mount here between cars three and four. That will put him right there. He would have to submit an action bullet to get on the roof to avoid the sheriff. And then the char move to, then move to more. There's a chance that he would eventually end up getting hit by the tunnel. So I'm gonna have to move quickly with that one, I think. Make sure I get him into the train. So we're gonna do that. So we're going to do four actions, three all of our movements. We get him here. We spend the bullet for an additional action, and he is on the roof. He's in this car right here. So, yeah, he needs to move quickly because after his, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it happens. Well, I'm going to put him here instead. He'll be in car number three. So if this moves and moves, and then this moves and moves. Car number three will be here. He'll have another chance. So he'll be he's right above the sheriff at this time. His cards are still a wild. He has two fours, a keyhole and a pistol, and a three pistol and a two keyhole. And so he can't do anything in car A, loot car A. And he can't do anything in loot car B, so he's kind of, he's got to find a way, to, he may, he can do a little bit but not much, we'll see, he may have to go to loot car C to get uh, some more loot, and that will end his turn, he moves the train two spaces, does not cross any stars, and that will be the end of round five. All right, we're ready to begin round six. Blue currently has two aces, two wilds, and a 10. One is a money bag, one is a keyhole, and one is a pistol. I think uh, Blue is gonna move in, steal the loot, move out and jump off the train before uh, it gets too hectic. He'll be able to exit on the back part here. When he uses his two wild, because he's either gonna get two pair or get three straight, really doesn't matter the loot numerical value doesn't change it is what it is is one point per loot and then get off he'll pull the sheriff two spaces closer get off before the sheriff even get into his car so I'm going to first action is to move blue one 
space into there. Next highest action is to get the loot. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab the two pair and I'll drop one wild and the two aces and the ten for the two pair. And the since I dropped one wild, the sheriff will move there as I'm grabbing this loot here. And then that's action two. Action three is to go here. Action four is to exit the train back here. He's going to exit on the inside. And that will leave him at the end of his actions. He still has two bullets remaining. But I think I'm going to be able to get to, unless uh, something changes with the switches again, I think I'm going to be able to get to um, town B to drop this loot off before the train gets there. And now that's the end of that turn. I'm going to go back up to five cards. I have one. Drew four to bring it back up to five. The train moves moves two spaces, one and two. It's entering the tunnel. It crossed a star, so now we flip over an event deck. And it's moved the sheriff one space to the left. And that ends Blue's turn. Now we go into Red's turn. Red currently has a two and four keyhole, a three and four pistol and a wild. Red needs three straight, so I have a two, three, four. So if Red can get into this car here and get that, he'll grab the three straight. He cannot get into the car where the sheriff is, always he'll get arrested. So um, first action is to I'm going to use all all the heist actions to move. So one. So starting here, one, two, three, and four is I'm going to loot with a three straight. Two, three, four, and grab that loot, and that ends Red's turn. I'm gonna. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold on to that wild for a minute, and that will end Red's turn right there. Red's gonna bring, spend three cards, draw three more to go back up, and the train will move two spaces again. One. Two, it hits the town, the, it collects the loot from the town, it will go into train car C because it is empty there. And draw an event deck for crossing over a star. And the sheriff moves two spaces left, but that's as far as the sheriff can go. Because the only other action to get here, you have to go up on the roof and the sheriff can't go on the roof. And that ends round five. Correction, we just finished round six and we're beginning round seven. Start with blue first. Blue has a pair of fives, a seven, a ten, and a wild. He has two pistols, two keyholes, and that's it. And blue needs to get to town B before the train gets there. So he's going to move four spaces. One, two, one, two, three, four. He stops on the railroad track. The train moves two, then moves two again. So right now, Blue does not need to expend any of his extra action points. So he's going to stop right there because the train, let's see, the train moved two, then two. He's safe from getting hit by the train. So we'll stop him right there, end his phase. Don't need to add any more cards to it, so we move the train for two spaces, crosses over the railroad switch, and then stops right there, did not cross any more stars. So that's the end of Blue's turn. Red, Red is going to, Red can, can't dismount the train in the back because it, unfortunately it's in the tunnel. So Red would have to get to here, to in between on train three, so it'd have to move one, two, three spaces and fourth the dismount here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll move red one, two, three, and dismount here to four. And it's going to move to town A on the next turn, work its way there to attempt to drop the loot there before the train gets there. Unless a train car switches, then he'll have to figure out how to rush back to town C. 
that ends Red's turn. Red is not going to spin any cards or anything like that. Just leave it like it is. We seem to be moving at a good pace, so I'll just keep going red. And we still have our Tombstone ability where I can move the noose back up a level if I need to. And that ends red, ends red's turn. So we move the car two spaces again. The train went two spaces, crossed over a track. And we have to lay down a Cherokee site. And now when you have a Cherokee token out, you cannot go on that space. You can stop next to it, go around, but you cannot cross over that space. And you lay them on top of the cactus. And so I'm going to lay it on top of this cactus here because that's what the symbol's for. So I can no longer enter that space. And that ends round seven. When you drop the Cherokee territory tile, you place this with the arrows pointed towards the center. Cherokee territory is the spot that the token is on plus the space below it. So Cherokee Territory takes both of these spaces. Also Cherokee Territory will go here or here when that happens. So in essence it's blocking you off from just running along the tracks to the next town, forcing you to go through Crackpot Canyon. Now that I got that info out there, Blue's turn. Blue's turn is the same cards I had last time, a pair of fives, a seven, a ten, and a wild, two pistols and two keyholes. Blue is going to move for one action. Drop loot for another action. Reach into the bag, pull new loot for the town to give. And this loot requires two keyholes and two money bags. So then blue is going to take movement action two, I mean number three, and action number four, completing his movement. He's going to wait for the train to come by again. So we move the train two spaces one and two we flip another event deck card so we just cross another star and it's train speed up when you pull a train speed up sign all you do is flip that to the next level up and now I'm going to move three cars per move instead of two cars there's one more train speed up in this deck now red's turn red Right now the train cars have not switched, so I think I'm going to go ahead and move red towards town A. So movement one, two, three, four. He's on the track, so I'm going to have to, let me see here. I can't trade any cards in. I don't have a pair. Well, if I spend a while, I have a pair to get them off the tracks. So I think uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, put some further away there. One, two, three, four. I'm going to have to drop a pair to an extra heist action to get them off the tracks. So I'm gonna drop a wild and I'm going to drop a three for one pair and move him off the tracks. Next turn he should be able to make it to the town to drop that loot and then that ends his actions. He draws two more cards to get back up to five and the train now moves three spaces. One, two, and three hits another star and this is rural track switch uh, that puts us into a situation now. Now the train is going to come back up. Actually, no, we're good so far. It'll come through here, come out the other end of the canyon, and nope, it'll go right to C. So now I got to get red all the way to C, town C. And that ends red's turn, and that ends round eight. We're ready to begin round nine. When I dropped off the loot in town B, I forgot to give myself a point, so now I'm up to three points. All right, Blue's turn. Blue still has the same cards he's had, two fives, a seven, 10, and a wild, two pistols, and two keyholes. Blue needs to get back up on the train. If he enters here, enter in 
entry point four, which puts um, really can't get anything at either one of those cars. He'll need well, he has a wild, so we can probably go ahead and get that chest and car seat. So blue's going to spend one movement, highest action point, highest action point to move forward. There's one, two, three, and the fourth one will be to loot. And we're going to go ahead and spend two keyhole cards and the wild card to get that loot. And because it's been a while, the sheriff will move one space closer to me. Like I said the train will now will move, get back up to three cards. The train is going to move three spaces and it's going to cut through this canyon and up on this side. So one, two, and three, it crosses a star. So flip over the event deck and is place another um, Cherokee territory tile. This one will go in this location here. So now there's another location I can't run long tracks on. So I can't you can't ride a horse through that area and you cannot pass through it. The train is the only exception. The train can pass through it. If you're on the train, of course, you pass through it also. Blue still has two more action points remaining. I do not think that the uh, sheriff is going to move into his space, so I think Blue's pretty safe right there for now. So that ends Blue's turn. Red needs to get down to C, so Red is going to spend a card, nine points, to move the horse nine spaces. So that's his first action. One, two, three four, five, six, seven. He is going to mount the horse for free. Then eight, nine. So he needs to get move five more spaces. He has a six card. Second action is moving the horse again. One, two, three, four, five. He'll dismount the horse for free. He'll spend another action point turning in this loot and the town will get another loot to give to the train. And this one is another chest, requires three even numbers. He has one more action point. I think he's going to stay there and grab a bullet. And that will end Red's turn. Red's going to draw two cards to get back up to five. The train will move again. One, two, and three. It crosses over star, but first we're going to, oh, I forgot to give myself a point again for that loop. We're going to put this loop back onto the train. It goes to an empty space before it fills the car it's in, so it goes right back here where Blue's sitting at. And we flip over an event card, and this is move the sheriff from one space to the right. And that will end round nine. Okay, we're ready to begin round ten. The two end conditions for this game, like I explained earlier, are if the hangman's noose gets all the way down to the skull and crossbones here, and that happens when you don't have loot to load from a town into the train. The other is when the event deck runs out, you remove both train switch tokens off the board. And the train, you keep moving the train through your actions like normal until the train reaches one of the junctions and once it reaches one of the junctions game is over and if you have not reached your goal for us which is 15 points then you lose the game also just laying off probably down to about six event cards so it's looking pretty good that I am not going to make my 15 point goal but we're gonna keep pushing forward to see how I have see how well we do and how this game plays out it's Blue's turn again. Blue's in a situation. Blue cannot get off the train where he is at now because here's Cherokee territory. He can jump into town, C, but then he's blocked by the train and is unable to move. He, can, he can't get onto the roof and call the horse because the horse is stuck behind the train. Same situation if he just got out in town, B. So I got to try to figure out to get Blue here and probably dismount here. Unfortunately, I do not think I'm going to make it to Canyon A because I don't have the use of the horse. I do have two uh, bullets 
to use for two additional action points but I do I have one pair of cards to trade in for another but I don't think I'm going to get it on time because that give me a total of seven moves so I've exited on trade number two and take me one two three four exit five six seven I'm stuck as a trade moves three then moves three again and town um, a is uh, we lose another Hangman's Noose. I still have Red's cards of the Tombstone to bring the noose back up on. So I think I'm going to exit into Town C and drop a loot there. Just have loot in that town also. So my best option is to just go ahead. Before I do that though, I'm going to tell you the cards I have. I have a 2, a pair of 5s, a 10, and an Ace. I have three pistols and two loot. I cannot loot anymore from the tranks. I already looted once and I have to drop this loot off before it happens again. So I'm just going to move one, dismount two. Action number three is to turn the loot in to the town. Give myself another point and push it up to five. And this loot is three of a kind to get that once it gets on the train. That will end Blue's turn. I have one additional action point left and can't grab a bullet token. Maybe I can trade cards with Red. What does Red need to get? Red needs a lot of money bags and keyholes to get that. So we need four money bags and three keyholes. Also needs three, six, eight. Yeah, don't have any of three, six, or eight. Not even a wild card. So I think, see three money bags, we need four money bags, and two keyholes. That's more cards I'm allowed to have. So I think, uh, I think red's good with cards they have. So we'll end our turn. Just had an extra uh, point they couldn't use. That ends uh, blue's turn. So now we're going to move the train three spaces. One, two, three, crossed a star, so flip over the event deck. It is railroad track switch, so this one switches. And now the train's going to continue moving in this direction. It'll, eventually, it'll start skipping town A, but unfortunately it won't skip early enough. And that will end the round for Blue, now red gets to go. Red is going to mount the train right here at number five. Does red have the even numbers? Red is going to go and just action number two move here, trade in three even numbers. Since it seems like car C seems to be getting neglected. Loot was number Four, or number three and number four is bring it back here so they can dismount the train and I think yeah Red's going to dismount the train spin the bullet to dismount and dismount here and probably stage up at Town Beast when the train passes drop the loot then to keep loot continuously going in that order no, it needs to go to A, because when it comes, it'll shoot up through here, come out here, but go around this way, so it won't hit B to another round. So this way, it'll go through here, come this direction, so yeah, Red needs to work their way towards town A to drop off loot. So I'll leave it at that, and we'll move the train three spaces. One, two, three. Three we cross over star, but I forgot to give Red their cards back. Bring them back up to five cards, and we crossed over star, so it is move the sheriff one space to the left, and that will end round ten. All right, we're going into round eleven. What I forgot to do last round was when the train passed Town A, I forgot to drop the noose one level because I did not have loot to load into that train. Blue's turn. Blue has a 2, a pair of 5s, a 10, and an ace. Gives him 
three pistols and two money bags. I have at best three more, yeah, four more stars to pass before we go into in-game conditions. So hopefully I can get some more loot real quick, but I doubt it. I'm sitting at five points right now. So let's see what I can get out of this. I think Blue wants to get back on the train. His best chance is to load up in the caboose and spend his three pistols on that loot. So he's going to move one, two, three, four, spend a bullet and load into caboose. He's back there on five. You know, hold tight right there, waiting to see uh, for next round. Hopefully, the sheriff doesn't move into those cars. The cars will move three spaces. One, two, the switch hasn't gone towards the canyon. And three, and they'll come out through here where they'll turn back to town A. Unless I switch it for uh, with red. That might be a good idea. I think I might do that with red. So, give me a little more movement ability. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move red two spaces. One, two. Third action is going to flip the switch. Now the train will be going to B. And go back one. And that's his four action moves. He still has a loot to drop off at one of the towns. So I'm going to try working to B, drop them both off of B. Because it looks like, well, it could go to A. But I don't know if I have enough turns for it to get to A. I'm trying to get as many points as I can now because I doubt I'll get to 15. And the train's going to move three spaces and moves over one star. Hits the switch, rotates that way, and now moves into Cherokee territory. And we will flip a event deck for crossing over that star. And the sheriff moves one space to the left. And that ends round 11. We're beginning round 12. Blue has three pistols, two money bags, a two, a pair of fives, a ten, and an ace. I want to move blue one space, loot, spin the three pistol cards to loot this item here. Has two movements left. If I come back, I can jump off the caboose. So I mean, four and jumping off would put me here, the way the caboose is situated, I land on the tracks. Um, then I could probably run and drop loot off here, even though it's not going to get picked up by the train because I'll probably run out of time, it's still a point. So I think like so I'm working towards points at this stage of the game. So I'm going to go one and two, jump off, I'm standing right there on the side where the caboose is and I'll have one, two, three more movements to do to drop off loot. Hopefully I can last till that long. That's the end of Blue's turn. I'm going to draw back up to three cards. And then the train will move three spaces. One, two, and three, we've crossed over another star. So I'll flip the event card over. And it's train speed up. Now the train is moving four spaces per, per turn. So after red finishes, it will move four spaces. So now it's really speeding up. I'll probably go through my, in fact, I will go through my last two cards. Then I'll get one more action before uh, the game is over. Because once you flip that last event card, you pull both of the switches up for the, at the junctions, and the next time the train meets one of these junctions, it's game over. Which the train's going to end here. Junctions come up, so the very next movement on uh, Blues after Blues turn. So Red is going to. Red has a pair of fours, a seven, ten, and a wild. It has a two money bags, a pistol. Keyhole and of course a wild card. So let's see what we can do. Cannot enter the train from behind, so I got to enter from the side. 
If I enter on card number three, I'll go here. I have the two money bags. I can grab a loot. That's four. Come back as five. It's going to be tight. I won't be able to call the horse and move at the same time. So let me do this. I'm going to one, two, three, four. We'll spin a seven, call the horse to me. That's an action, mount it. Horse keeps moving, that's one. That was one, two, three, four. Dismount's free action. I'm going to get on the train in number three. That's two actions for me. The horse still has his three moves. So five. Should I even move it? Is it worth it? Five, six, seven. Doesn't matter. He's going to move that. So let's move. Now nah, the horse will stay where he is. So yeah, I'll leave the horse there. So that was two actions for red. Three, four is to loot. I'll spend the two money bags for looting. Which I don't. Oh, I didn't. I used that. Oh, bad call. That was a bad cost. I spent the seven to move the horse without thinking it through, and I spent the one money bag I needed. So let's see what I have here. So if I came here, I moved here, and then one more. So two, three, four. I still don't have an action left. Either way, I kind of messed that up. So that's it for red. That was a bad call. It is what it is. That's why I get for not sit there and planning it through. And so now the train moves. It moves. One, two, three, and four. If the train had a fifth move, it was stopped on there, and I would have been able to get another run. But so we did two stars. First star is move the sheriff two spaces to the right. And the next event deck star is two more spaces to the right one two Ooh, one space away from red so that is so we're going into the final round did not collect the loot for B to put it back on the train I'm not going to do anything else with that because all the event deck cards are gone I remove both of these junction switches and now the minute the train hits this location, which is after blue moves, it's game over. And it is what it is for the score. So for moves last action, I'll move four, blue, blue four spaces. One, two, three. His fourth action is going to be to drop his loot and get another point. Brings him to six points. And... I'm going to call it end right there. Train's going to move its four spaces. One, and that's game right there. No sense in moving further. And so, game is over. Final score is I earned six out of a possible 15 points. Uh, lesson learned on this, I would say, is try to get double loot when you hit the trains. So, Train Heist, I liked it. It's a good game. Um, it's challenging enough to make me want to bring it out. I'm the type of person that I love a challenge, so if I can't beat a game, I'm going to keep bringing it to the table until I beat it. And then even when I beat it, I might try it again with a different version or different amount of players, less or more, just to keep the challenging. So it's a game that's going to come out a couple of times a year for me. The artwork is awesome. I like the artwork because it's kind of cartoonish, but at the same time, it reminds me of the, the comical version of the American West that people see when you see cartoons and stuff like that. So I enjoyed that also. The rule book was great. The rule book is laid out easy to understand, quick to find the answers. They give examples. So I love the rule book. It's a great rule book. The solo mode, it's the, the Automa is what it is. It's the board game itself. 
So the event cards dictate how the game is played. So I enjoyed that because you couldn't predict what was coming. You could only try to anticipate. So it's a great game. So bottom line front is I'm keeping this game. It's going to come back to the table a couple more times a year until I finally beat it. When I beat it, it'll probably come out a little less often, but I'm still going to bring it out to try different variations of this game. So once again, thank you for joining me at Gaming Solo. If you see any mistakes I made during the playthrough, please let me know in the comments below or shoot me an email at the email link within the description. It's truly appreciated and I thank you for sitting through this playthrough of Gaming Solo and have a great day.